With Utah in the grips of a record-breaking drought, every drop counts. Yeah, with that in mind, we sent KSL investigator Matt Gephardt out to test a few little things we can do and see just how much water we may save in the whole process. Matt? Yeah, Mike, Debbie, good evening. We're doing stories about this kind of thing all week long. We're taking those tips that we've all heard about ways to save water and doing a little investigative math. Let's see how well they work. Tonight, we're looking at low flow shower heads. You know, we've seen these things marketed. So are they a good investment or like that old Kramer Seinfeld bit? Do they not actually get all the soap out of your hair? Let's see. It's an air squat. Josh Myers coaches CrossFit here at the Factum Gym in Midvale. Push up, row, that's one. And even running others through a workout. So if you want to do strict, works up a sweat. You can do strict. Hot and sweaty, sticky, and the first thing I want to do is shower. Josh says he hits the shower several times every day. He is a shower connoisseur. What makes a good shower? Space in the shower, and you're going to see that I don't have a lot of space <laughs> in the shower. Um, but past that, you know the flow rate of the water. Uh-oh. If that's what Josh relishes, he may regret agreeing to help me with a little experiment. So take a look at this. At his home, I presented Josh with a brand new eco-friendly shower head. Rather than the two and a half gallons per minute that his shower currently pumps out, this one only lets 1.75 gallons per minute through. After installation, I asked Josh to take a shower and give me his take. While we wait, let's do a little math. Most standard shower heads that we found on store shelves boast 2.5 gallons per minute. Our low flow option is 1.75. Now, according to the CDC, the average shower is eight minutes long. In eight minutes, our low flow head puts out 14 gallons of water. A standard shower head puts out 20. That's a savings of six gallons every single shower. Not nothing. And if we zoom out and say that all 3.2 million Utahns shower once per day, if everybody used a low flow shower head, it would save more than 19 million gallons of water every single day. Aside from conservation, we found there's another reason you may want to cut back on how much water you're putting down the shower drain. You know, I think a low flow is just perfect for the skin. Rebecca Clifford is a dermatologist with Granger Medical. She says a lot of folks shower wrong and wash away an important oil that our skin uses as a protective barrier, and that results in itchy skin and rashes. If you are taking excessively long showers, you're showering a lot of times per day, you're scrubbing at your skin, you're taking really hot showers, all of that strips away that natural oil. Josh, let me ask you, how many television interviews do you do while showering? Um, zero. Back at Josh's apartment, we wait for him to finish up, then get his take. Uh, the flow rate was very obviously lower than the usual shower head that I use. Um, and because of that, I noticed that it's a little difficult to get clean in some nooks and crannies. But if I'm saving some money and I'm saving some water, I say, why not? Yeah, and we let Josh keep that sour shower head a uh, gift from KSL to say thank you for helping us out. I'm going to turn this off. That's colder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, we paid about 30 bucks for it at Lowe's, but we found there's tons and tons and tons of these on the market all over the place. Hey, if you have an idea for some sort of way to conserve water and you'd like the KSL investigators to take an investigative look to see how well it really works, let us know about it. The number, 385-707-6153, or you can email me, matt at ksl.com.